Hello friends, today I'm going to address a common query from my comments below which is about head tremors. Head tremors are usually observed in two forms, a yes tremor which is like nodding of the head and a no tremor where head is moving from side to side. So how to manage them and how to control them? Let's figure out today. You will observe that head tremors happen mostly when the head is unsupported. If I move back and touch my head against the wall, the tremors might stop. But if I move forward, the tremors might come back. And that is why we will work on both sets of techniques, which is how to make your head supported and secondly, how to exercise to reduce your head tremors. The first set of techniques is how to keep your head and neck supported. So for that, you can either use a chair in sitting position where you have a headrest available or you can simply clasp your hands and place it behind your head, which could be done maybe while sitting on the chair or on the bed. Or you can use a resting head position, which is using your hand in some way to support your chin or your jaw. So like this or like this or like this. Also, you can try to hold something in your mouth, like some people try to keep chewing gum in their mouth, toothpicks in their mouth, something that keeps the jaw in a kind of locked position or stabilizes the jaw enough that the tremor is controlled, the movement controls the tremor. But these positions may not be practical in a standing or a walking position. So you can try to use something around your neck like a scarf in order to support your chin and your jaw and your head at the same time so that the tremors are reduced to a minimum. At the same time, some people keep something around their head and neck so that it encloses or provides a good pressure and support around your head. The second set of techniques is about doing head and neck exercises to manage your tremors. So starting with the first one, which is moving your head up and down. How to do that? Try to look at the ceiling and move back, chin on the chest and move back. So try to do this exercise five times at least. So in this, it is important that you provide a hold at both the ends rather than just doing a continuous movement. The second one is to try to touch your ear with your shoulder. Make sure that your shoulders are not in a shrugged position, relax them and then attempt the movement. Always try to provide a hold and come in the midline before you perform the movement on the other side. The third exercise would be rotating the head. The extreme positions help in the stability that is required to manage the tremors. Even the muscles in the upper part of the shoulder are equally important. So shoulder shrugging can also help you. Now coming to the jaw based movements, simply opening the mouth and closing it as far as possible. Then trying to move the jaw side to side. And finally, trying to move the jaw forward as in the lower jaw goes ahead. How will you know that? Because your lower teeth will be ahead of your upper teeth. And the last movement is a forward backward movement of the cervical region, which is trying to jut your head out and then move it back. I hope these exercises are helpful for you 
to manage your tremor try to apply both sets of techniques for stabilization of the head as well as doing the exercises on a regular basis and see the difference mention it in the comments below if you have any queries or suggestions also like the video subscribe to the channel for more awareness related to neuro rehabilitation ring the bell icon for notifications and we'll meet again soon bye